at Sun and Fun charge a general aviation parking. We're mostly the meeters and greeters at Sun and Fun. We spend our week here, our vacation, most of us spend all of our vacation from work here and spend a whole week around airplanes and have so much fun and we do a lot of parking. We drag, we flag, we park and we have a lot of fun doing it. Our main thing is fun and fun besides getting everyone on the ground safe is keep us safe. So we have a couple rules to follow and we also do simple flagging. We don't get real complicated with it. And, but we just like everybody to kind of do it the same way. Like if you want an airplane to come with you, just go straight. And turn your wands a little bit so they can see them. If you have them straight up and down, they can't see them very well. So turn them a little bit so they can see your wands coming at you. If you want them to stop, you cross your wands. If you want them to hold, you can cross your wands and actually hold your hand out and say hold. That's not, we don't really have to do that if you're crossing them, but it's just double safety. Always look behind your back when you're doing something. So if you're doing something like holding an airplane, turn around and look and see what's coming at you. If you've got a lot of noise around you, you might not hear that rock that's sneaking out. So your head always has to be on a swivel. Always. Don't walk up to an airplane with a part running. That is just not safe. If you have to walk up to an airplane, I usually let my co-chairmen do it, and they walk behind the airplane and they talk to the pilot and they can train. But if you're out here working for as a volunteer, I just don't allow it. I think it's a safety thing, uh, and nothing's more important than you. The, the airplane is not as important as your health, so we're asking that you please don't walk up to an airplane. When you're talking to a pilot, you want to see the pilot. So it's best to be on their side of the airplane and see them. Don't be on the opposite side. A lot of times the sun interferes with it, but make sure you have eye tact with the pilot. And if you're not sure, point to your eyes and say, do you see me? And they'll nod. They'll let you know. You want to make sure you're not assuming they see you because they might actually turn the wrong way for you. And that's another safety hazard. Uh, let's see, we all have, most of us have radios. We communicate to each other if there's an issue. You always call the co chairman and we'll take care of it. You're here to have fun. You're not here to have any headaches. Just the plain have fun. And that's what we do. Uh, let's see, parking. We have our parking grid. And I have several co chairmen and uh, several really good seasoned volunteers. And we teach you how to park the airplanes. Just a few signals that we use, like when an airplane's coming too fast, you want to slow them down, just take our wands and point to the ground a little bit. They slow down. So you've got coming forward, you got stop, you got slow down. If you need them to turn, you just point your wand to that wheel and they'll turn. But we show you all of this. My main thing is safety. So we'll teach you everything you need to know once you're on the field. But safety um, is it. I mean, and I, you know, I can be mean sometimes because if I see something you shouldn't do and I think that you could get yourself hurt, I will pull you aside and I'll talk to you about it. Because, uh, I know, like I said, replace an airplane, but I can't replace you. We have so much fun here. So come and join us. Um, we'll teach you how to flag airplanes, you meet new friends, you see all these gorgeous airplanes out here. Where else can you see thousands of airplanes in one spot? It is just wonderful. So come see us and you have a wonderful day.